I was scared, and I was selfish. I wish you so much peace. Because I have been too good to God for me not to find love. No motherfucker, I see you every night in my sleep. She found me! There's something wrong with me that's allowing me to keep attracting the same kind of people in different bodies. me if I was happy. Happy with what? Happy with you. Happy with this relationship. Hmm. Well, I would think if you were not happy with something, you would tell me you're not happy. Every time I try to tell you how I feel, you either take it personal or it becomes an argument. That's not true. Oh, it's very true. Well... What are you not happy with, Giovanni? Because I have a few you things that I You know, I'm such a bad person have you that why the... heard me call you a bad person? Your girlfriends. You my girlfriends? Always... You're not in a relationship with my girlfriends. However they feel is how they feel. So you're telling them that you're not happy? Mm. I get it. You're trying to start an argument. You know, you work harder at making me the bad guy than anybody you that I... You do this to yourself. I do what to Javon, myself? here's an idea. Why don't you just love up on me? Huh? Why don't you just let me in? Why the hell do you keep cutting me off? And why do you keep stalling? If there's something that you need to get off your chest, I suggest you get it off. Listen. Before anyone can make you happy, you have to be happy with yourself first. Oh, please don't fall great teaching me. You know what? Never mind. I'm good. You're good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh. How are you good? Explain that to me. And while you're at it, can you explain how you did not step foot not one time in that hospital to see how I was doing? I lost our child. Who rode in that ambulance with you when you were having those contractions? Huh? Oh, because it was me you forgot. I said and gave you information to them so you could get checked in. You did, Giovanni. Yeah. And what you did was equivalent to ringing a doorbell, sticking a note on my chest, and then leaving. Damn. I can always count on you minimizing my I cannot minimize you no more than you do yourself. The fact is, you are not happy with you. And until you all I am out here broke. I am out here broke. Practically spending dollars to keep this damn apartment. I am out here hustling every day in these streets to make sure I eat. Where's the we? Where's the what? I said, where is the we? Because there was a time when you spoke and it was always about we. You and me. Me and you. There you go. Always jumping into conclusions. Mama, it's still about us. Yes, things have gotten rough. Look at me. But it's still about us. I never wavered. Yeah, but as a man, I'm supposed to be leading. 
And I just feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be in life right now. Or perhaps you're not with the one you're supposed to be with in life right now. Now you never heard me say I know that. how I felt in that hospital. I felt alone. I felt cheated. I felt like God I'm just- I'm so sorry. I know that carrying a child for close to nine months and losing it is pretty It's embarrassing. Far. That's what it was, embarrassing. And it hurt me to see my roommates having visitors every day and then doctors asking me where you were and I didn't have nothing to tell them. I was scared and I was selfish. And I'm not just talking about these last few days. Maybe for most of your pregnancy. Now, baby, I'm sorry, but at some point, I convinced myself that I had no business in being some child's father. Shit, I felt like I was holding you back before you even got pregnant. Why? Why? At no point did I ever make you feel or even talk to you like you were less than a man, Giovanni, just because you were in between jobs. Oh my God. Didn't you even hold me down when I hit a few rough patches? It's my job to hold you down. Then why can't it be mine too? Look, what I need right it's now It's not is about what you need right now. It needs to be about us. It was we who got pregnant. It was us who lost the child. Missy, I need to figure out how to love myself again first. How to get up every day and keep myself sane. Maybe I gotta learn how to live with me. And if I can't even do that, how the hell do you think I'm gonna make you feel loved? Well, we're gonna have to work on it. Because before you can even make me feel loved again, you have to first make me feel like I'm not in this alone. Oh, so you're in this alone now? You can sit there and believe that you are in this alone? You can't tell me how I should feel. Giovanni, I have communicated with you over several occasions Letting you know I feel alone in this relationship. And I've communicated you to you that I... You communicated nothing. Missy, you have shared I, I nothing. am not right. I am not right in my heart, and I am not right in my head. Baby, all you have to do is trust me. All you have to do is just open up to me. Yeah and have you throw the same shit I shared with you back in my face the second that we argued? No. I am not perfect. And I know I'm not the easiest, but Giovanni, mm. I love you. And I'm willing to get whatever help that it is I need, if that's what you want. Oh, hell no, I'm not going on nobody's couch. Okay, so where do we start from then? How do we move forward? How are we going to fix this? Missy, I honestly don't know if I can be fixed. Maybe I'm struggling mentally. I don't even know if I ever wanted to bring a child into this world. With the things that my family let happen to me and hit, there were so many times that I just wanted to end it all. No child. No. Baby, I know we lost our baby. But no parent can fully protect their child, Missy. There's no way. So I carried our 
our child for close to nine months. And then I lost it. And now you're telling me you never, never even wanted him? That is not how I We went. were in those counseling classes for PCOS together. And I still laid in that hospital bed blaming myself Blaming my body. I am broken and unstable. I never had therapy. I am living with all this hurt inside of me. The shit is killing me. And how much of that is by choice, Giovanni? But you have no problem with hurting me because I'm the closest one to you? How long must I keep pretending to be the strong man that I'm clearly not, Lizzie? Oh, my God. It has been a rough two years for me and my family. Giovanni, you have been with me on many of nights. Even that night when I talked my brother out of that suicide attempt because he mistakenly shot that man, you were there. But now it all makes sense. I guess you were just waiting to see when I got stronger so that you could leave. Baby, I'm sorry. But I don't know when it's gonna be the right time for me to start being honest with myself again. Giovanni, I wish you so much peace. Because I have been too good to God for me not to find my So how's the job search coming along? Same as yesterday. Same as last week. Things ain't looking too promising for tomorrow either. So I'm sure something's gonna come through for you. Try to try and touch me, man. They don't even look through my application. I got nothing but bad press. I mean, if you keep on with that mindset. No, no, no. no. This ain't no mindset. It's nothing but facts. You see today's paper? I don't go by that shit, man. Come on, I know the individual. Plus, you know I always got your back, brother. You wanna go for round three? Sure, why not? Great. One last drink couldn't hurt, right? Plus Great. I got a few extra dollars left in my GoFundMe account. All right. Can I get my order over here? Got it. What's up, Ronald? Let me get you another round. Oh, no, no, don't start your shit. I got one more drink coming in. And it's packed up time for me after that. Frank, you, you gotta stop running home and hiding. I mean, that shit happened over a year ago. You did everything you were supposed to do. Yeah, Carla, but who am I to choose for you? Stop second guessing yourself. You're safe. You're home. Can I get you guys anything? Yeah, I don't mind being at home either. Okay, exactly. You're home and not shrunk by fucking criminals in the cell. I don't want to be a logical man, okay? Not right now. Not for my girl. So tight. So tight, man. Yeah. Okay. That last. A rough last few days, okay? A rough the last 11 months. So this is what I'm talking about, man. You bring that noise to me. You know I'm trying to avoid all that negative bullshit, man. Then you ask me why I like to stay at home? I'm your friend. Why the pushback on me? Everyone here is your friend. Nobody's turned on you. When you're here, you're surrounded by love and cops. Carol, I'm not a fucking cop no more, man. I love you, man. All right, guys. You're all set. You need anything else? No. I'm gonna get this guy far the fuck away from me. And find me somebody pretty to look at. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. All right, all right. Listen, that's gonna be your last drink. 
And you better not have your firearm on you. Listen, I can't have that shit happen again, all right? No worries, no worries, it's in the car. Thank you. Probably the smartest thing you did all day. The stupid shit you pulled is gonna sit in your folder for a few years. What are you doing? Yo, him and his weak ass bladder, they're going to the bathroom. But before he leaves, you gotta count every last chip. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No, he's not, and I know where every single chip lay. Great guy, but he's a little touched. A little? He's <laughs> a fucking dickhead. Mm. You know what? I, I really don't know how that guy can live with himself. I really don't. Maybe the same way you'd be trying to live if you were in his shoes. No, 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 you can kill that. Because there's no way I would ever put myself in the same position that he did. Look, I need you to think. I'm thinking like a cop. Well, maybe you need to think as a black man first. Hey, I'm always thinking like a black man, eh? I said first. You know what? I, I, I really don't know what you're getting at, but... What I'm getting at is that maybe we need to unlearn the same shit we've been taught. It's never too late. You know, every time I talk to you, I always get the sense that you hate your own kind. Vivian, how many times do we have to have this conversation? How can I tell what's in a perp's heart when I have to stare down the barrel of his, of his, of his fucking gun? Shit. Well, if you have to stare down the barrel of his gun, you know what's in his heart. You know what? I, I, I don't think you'll ever get it. Oh, I get it. All right, y'all good? Yeah, we got on drinks. And everything else? I mean, the conversation seems a little heated right now. Can we grab the- The detective said we are good. We're good. Okay. Look, it says Bravo. Wait, why can't my man bring the empty? Okay, um, let me go over this one last time, okay? You're listening. My job is to make sure that I get home safe at the end of every shift. And you too. And you don't think that Frank has the same ideologies, huh? How come this whole uh, self-preservation stance doesn't come on as strong when you knock it straight? Hmm? And once again, you're asking me my opinion about the crime he committed. Good evening. Good evening. New to the department? Excuse me? I said, are you new to the department? No, I don't work for any department. I actually call on the bail bonds company. Whoa, 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 whoa. I leave you alone for five minutes and you already have a beautiful woman hitting on you? Hitting on who? Look, look, don't do that. Nobody's hitting on nobody. Well, shit. Are you going to introduce me? Um, he actually doesn't even know who's going to introduce me. Miss. You can call me Faith. Faith? Like in death. No, Faith. As in complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Look, I'm just going to have to apologize for my friend Carl. His, his mother dropped him on his head as a baby. I can okay? go sit somewhere else and have my drink and leave my room. No, no, relax. You're good where you're at. You're good where you're at. Hey, Carlo, can you take your fucking chips and move elsewhere, please? I might have a job opportunity. I'll sit right here. I won't say a word. Carlo, can you please fucking just go away, please? All right, welcome, welcome. What can I get you today? I'll have one water and your best start with ice and a shot of soda. Got it, right on. Right, you good? As long as Carlos stays the fuck away from me, I'm perfect. So what do you do for a living? Um, actually, I'm in between jobs right now. Mm, I can understand, I've definitely been there. Mm. I'm out here looking every day though. Why well, are they hiring here? I mean, you're here. That I cannot tell you. Hmm. So, what is it that you used to do? Me? Yeah, you. Uh, what? You embarrassed about what you used to do? I'm definitely not embarrassed by what I used to do. Um, a little disappointed how things ended, but uh, I don't think those go with alcohol. Mm, don't worry about me. I do this all the time. Thank you. So what was so disappointing about your last job ending? You know, 
I bet I'd be a perfect fit for your company. Well, tell me more about your disappointment. This just might be your job interview. Well, um, I used to be a cop. And mm. unfortunately, I hurt a whole lot of people too. Let me guess, protecting and serving, right? Just doing my job. And doing your job by targeting and killing unarmed black men, right? Guess you see me in the paper today, huh? No, motherfucker, I see you every night in my sleep. I see you standing over my brother's bullet-riddled dead body. I see you offering no life-saving tactics while you allowed him to lay there for almost 22 minutes while he was still alive. That's not all true. I watched you every day in that courtroom as you sat there with no remorse or no regret for any of the pain you caused my family. Look, your brother put a gun on me in a drug by, okay? So whatever he did wrong and I did right was proven in that very same court. Fuck you in the court of law. You could have saved my brother's life, but you knew that he would testify against you. You ain't no better than any of them white cops. So this is some renegade type of justice you're thinking about? Fuck you. You don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Frank, you good? Look here, lady. This ain't got nothing to do with you. This Frank here is caught in another one of his lies. Just two people sitting here talking and having a little disagreement, right, Frank? Breaking up in public or breaking up in peace? Put your fucking hands. She found me! Everybody put your hands up and don't fucking move. I said don't move. Now remember, if you decide to reach in your bag and pull a gun, what that will look like if you kill a black woman, I said stop moving. I swear to God, I will shoot everybody in here. Don't fucking move. And if you decide to kill a black woman, how that'll look for you. I said don't fucking move! Close the fucking door. Move away from it. I just need one person alive. Just one. To let the newspapers know so that they can see this justice served tonight. Same justice, man. Same justice. Faith, right? Why don't you just stop and ask yourself? This ain't right. This is right. You killed my brother. My baby. Look, there's still time for you. You just can't pull that trigger. Don't Lady, shut the fuck up. How do you know this isn't my way out of everything? I said, don't fucking move. I'll shoot everybody in here. This is not justice. Just minutes ago, an unidentified black woman walked into this bar and opened fire on former officer Lindsey Frank and several other off-duty cops. Yo, shit, you really think that shit? Yo, these fucking females been bugging out here lately. Cause we got this motherfucker. Social media queen. Can't answer my cool stuff. So this what we doing? Yeah, it's on social media, but you can't pick up my fucking phone calls. I, you can't. I need you to stop calling. So now how the fuck I gotta call your phone three, four, five times before you pick up my fucking phone call? I have kids. You don't think I know you have kids, Tasha? Well, act like it. That nigga there ain't. I can't. I won't do this with you. I need to put my kids to bed, and I need to get things ready for tomorrow. Why? Are you worried about who and what goes on in my house? Because I put groceries in that motherfucker, that's How why. How long do you think a box of cereal and a pack of meat gonna last? Yes, we're done.
You were the one who wanted to break up. Listen, listen. You have some things you need to work on, and I have some things that I personally need to work on. Oh, so so that's it? You, you, you somehow think that you could just, like, move on with your life without me? You stupid? Yo, you put on a fucking show at my mother's house in public. You went on this immature ass rant about how I'm still fucking my baby's father in fucking public. No, don't act like I ain't tell you. I ain't apologize, Tasha. Like, what you, well, you need to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're still fucking him. Oh, you fucking sad. I'm sad. But you was the main one that was like, I don't want that nigga. I don't need him. He could never ever touch me again. My children need him. He's their father. I don't have to have anything but a cordial relationship with him for our children. I don't give a fuck what you're saying to me right now. I know y'all back fucked. Yo, I can't do this. I don't need this stress. And certainly my children do not need this stress. And you're so like, what are you trying to say? You about to just throw this shit away? Your dad looked me in my fucking face, Tasha. Did you not tell me, mommy? Yo, yo, I can't believe this. You're coming at me as if I wasn't holding you down when your neck was against the wall. And now you just, like, you just about to just walk. Homelessness. Jobless. COVID? Yo, the shit not genuine don't do it, because don't act like I never fucking told you thank you. I haven't seen that humble side of you in months. I don't even know who you are anymore. Seriously. What the fuck are you talking about now? You're putting me through exactly what I just left. I told you what I went through with my children's father. And the men before that. Um, so now, what are we doing? Look, I need to fix me. There's something wrong within me that keeps attracting the same kind of people in different bodies. Yo. <laughs> You could fix you, but you're gonna be fixing you right next to me because your ass ain't going nowhere. Now you know, Giz, I don't take threats too well. Yo, don't be dramatic. This ain't nobody threatening you. Yeah. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Because I will go downtown and start that paperwork. <laughs> oh, I big dog. <laughs> now you threatening me. No. When I do whatever it takes for my children to be able to see me for as long as God allows. You keep protecting that nigga. <laughs> and I guarantee you that nigga ain't changed. Keep protecting him. You know, I never thought we'd get to this. People die every day, Tasha. <laughs> you right with that water protection, right in their pocket. Bye, Giz. Now, before you hang up, let me explain something to you, all right? You, your punk ass baby father, <laughs> Y'all better keep your heads on a fucking swivel, all right? Because I decide when you walk off into the fucking sunset. You understand me? It's fucking stupid, yo. It's making me so tight. Why the fuck this girl keep texting me? Yo, what girl? I told you about this fucking gun in my house. Yo, my fault, auntie, man, my fault. <sighs> Your fault. Yeah, my fault. You threaten this girl's fucking life? Have you lost your fucking mind? Yo, ain't nobody was gonna do nothing to her. I was just gonna put a little fitting on a little scary ass, that's it. Mm. Well, guess what? Round of applause for your bitch ass because you did an excellent job. You know where she going, right? She going right down to the precinct tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'll straighten everything out. I don't need this shit at my door. I do not need that shit at my doorstep at all. Yo, she ain't gonna do that. I don't, I don't believe she's gonna do that. You don't believe it. Just like she didn't believe that you would threaten her fucking life. Neither did she believe you would be so fucking insecure. And she damn sure didn't believe that you would put your grimy ass hands on her. So she ain't around here fucking telling you everything I do, but I bet you she ain't telling you she back fucking that nigga though. And how the fuck do you know that? Yo, who side are you on again? Matter of fact, why the fuck you even in our business? Because your business keeps calling me. And you keep now, I've me? had enough of I'm this up, bullshit. Man. And I told your bitch ass the next time bullshit arises, you got to get your shit no, and no, go. Okay, my shit. <laughs> See, still answer, I'll call right? you back, okay? Still answer, right? You have two days, what? which is 48 hours, to pack your shit and leave. What? You bugging. What are you talking about? Listen, I don't know what you're doing, 
you worrying about all the wrong shit, but I need you to pack your shit and go. I need my living room back, yeah, okay? Yeah, you need to go. Yeah, I know where the fuck you going, though. You are so predictable. So fucking predictable. Just like your father, my brother. Predictable. Yo. I'm gonna fall the name out your mouth. What the fuck is you talking about? You know, we always knew you wouldn't amount to shit. Yo, you see, this is what's wrong with us now. No, motherfucker, that's what's wrong with you. Own your shit. Own your fucked up choices. Nobody put that gun in your hand but you. I was born fucked up. It's like chosen. How you keep telling yourself that bullshit you want to hear? You know what your fucking problem is? Huh? You just like that bitch Tasha. You don't know when to shut the fuck up. You too fucking stupid to know when you don't got the fucking upper hand. <laughs> Nigga, upper hand? I need you to understand this. Tasha already survived you. The only word she got left for you is, that's him. <laughs> she ain't survived shit. Cause after I'm done with your hateful ass, that bitch and that nigga got what's coming to them. All of y'all. So, you just gonna leave the kids, motherless and fatherless? Ain't no kids. You selfish bitch. <laughs> Very selfish. You know, I never understood the likes of people like yourself. Why don't they just say, I'm going to go and get help because I need it. Or, I'm just going to kill myself. Come on, auntie. You know I'm too selfish for all that. You know what you're right. Mm -hmm. But I want you to understand, I am way smarter than what the fuck you think. Did you really think that I was going to come into this living room at all? One, knowing your fucked up mental state. Two, knowing you always have a gun. And three, knowing deep down inside just how much you fucking hate me. You know what you right. But Tasha don't. So here's what's going on. She has already called the police and told them that I am forcibly being held against my will. You ain't that smart. You know what I'm not, but Tasha is. They on their way. Shit, yeah. None of us have training dealing with mental health suspects. The call said the suspect is armed. That is enough for me. Listen up. The suspect is black, armed, and has a hostage. We get in, we get out, we go home and answer questions later. Their parents get killed by somebody they were in a relationship with. Miles, you should be asleep. It's hard to sleep after hearing the conversation you were just having. That's grown folk stuff. I'll be okay. But will we be? Nothing is going to happen to me, you, or your sister. No, please, go back to your room and get yourself some sleep. I can go to sleep now, and I can go to school tomorrow. But I can't focus if I'm worried that somebody you date will one day tear this family apart. Turn the hands of time I'd be yours and you still be 